When beauty reigns and sex sells, what does it mean to be sexy? Is it a look, style, or trend? Or is there more to it? I'm comedian Carrie Riley. You've seen me on the Today Show and Wendy Williams. I'm in search of just what that spark is. And more importantly, how can I get some for myself? Hi guys, it's Carrie. I'm in Chelsea today and I'm hanging out with Biggest Loser trainer, Brett Hobel. He has trained some of the top Victoria's Secret models. Now let's find out what he can do with this secret. What's going on? You're so cute. Mwah. So are you. Good to see you. Good to see you too. I thought you'd be really overweight and obese. I'm very surprised <laughs> by this. My first impression with Brett was, that's one hot tamale. Has anyone ever told you you look just like Enrique Iglesias? Oh man. I know, a little bit. He looks a lot like Enrique. He's even got the mole. Right now, we're in peak performance. This is my second home away from home when I'm in New York City. He's peaking right now. I'm peaking. Okay. Mm. So I make my breakfast here, mm -hmm. and I'm going to give you a little secret of my favorite breakfast. Okay. It's called a Brazil breakfast bowl. A Brazil breakfast? It's like gonna... a taco bowl. No. Brett's all over the place training his clients. He travels to the West Coast, East Coast. He's back and forth all the time but he still likes to make sure that he gets the purest food in his system. So in the morning, he makes a Brazilian breakfast bowl. So welcome to oh. my little kitchen in here. I like that you have a kitchen. Yes. When it comes to training, there's two things. You gotta eat right, obviously okay. for calories, and it's fuel. The acai berry is very high in antioxidants and a lot of other stuff. It is a superfood. Acai berry tastes like nothing. This is maca. You know what this is good for? Boosting testosterone and the sex drive. Come on now! <laughs> My husband will love this. Oh, just a little bit goes no, a we'll long do, way. Let's do a little double. All right, let's I'm, do a I'm little getting double. nervous. What's gonna happen when we double it? Brett's like a little old witch with a cauldron. He's putting bee pollen, a acai berry. I was waiting for him to take the little legs off of spiders and put it in there and wings off of flies. This one. Oh, watch Whoa, out. Whoa, that was hot. <laughs> I wanted to see him just go and just start snapping stuff all around. Pens, pencils, cell phones. I'm gonna call Brett the snapper. Here's one of the big ones is coconut water. Yeah. A lot of electrolytes. This is organic ice, just kidding. <laughs> Put right. this on. He left out some ingredients like chocolate, potato chips, cheese doodles. Then we really would have had a good breakfast bowl. See? This is so good. Could I wear a, a, a G-string on the beach in Brazil after just two of these? <laughs> is that what you're telling me? Well, they only have thong there. The, the word bikini in Portuguese doesn't exist. No way. For a lot of American and Westerners, they would see somebody on the beach of Brazil in Ipanema and say, oh, they're too overweight to be wearing something yeah, like that, absolutely. right? Yeah, absolutely. But with these women that are wearing it, you can't even tell. Because you can't find the G-string. That's why you can't tell. <laughs> you're not sure if they have clothes on at all. When you're teased about being fat, you teased? Oh my I goodness. cannot imagine this non was ever teased. Nonstop. Brett told me about when he was a kid, he was actually overweight. And how that really inspired him to change his life, change his eating. The number one thing, it was my, the accountability to my word. It was me walking my talk. And when you walk your talk, yeah. it creates that inner strength. It creates that bond to yourself. And ultimately that is what is gonna carry you on. So we're gonna do one workout before we go. We got a lot of toys here at Peak. I'm gonna show you one of my favorite, and it has to do with vibrational training. I said I'm married, Brett. <laughs> this doesn't sound right. Get your head out of there. Oh. I need my friend, Mr. Power Plate. I get motion sickness. Do I need a dream me? Uh, I don't know. If you throw up, I'll get the bucket. It's all good. What? <laughs> what does this do? No, this is on the low setting. I felt like I was on a boat in the ocean looking at whales. It was just like da, 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 da. As it vibrates, your body goes off balance and it has to right itself back and forth with little muscular contractions. And as those contractions build up, you are gonna burn some calories, but it's also working on your stability system. Inhale on the way down. I, I don't even know how to breathe right exhale now. Exhale on the way I'm not sure where the breath would come from. Now imagine a hard this day. Is like a massage. Now, exactly. Now I'm in. Exactly. Now I'm in. Oh, yeah. Uh, Brian, uh, I like your happy Come hands. on now. And then he played a little trick on me and asked me to sit down. I'm gonna actually turn this on to high okay. for you. Like what? Oh, oh. oh my God. Oh yeah, I gotta get off. It was inappropriate and I didn't like it. Uh... Now 
we're gonna go sweat. We're gonna I do a little capoeira. All right. All right, come Let's with me. Let's go do capoeira. Let's go. That's what I call it, capoeira. We'll hold the hands. Carrie, this is my instructor, Mukuyu. Hi, Hi, how are you? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. So we're in the Ashi Capoeira Center, okay. which is one of the only Abada Capoeira schools here in New York City. And oh. Capoeira was a martial art created in back in the 1500s by really? the slaves being brought yes. from Africa to Brazil, and it was disguised as a dance, but it is a martial art. Would I benefit from this? Definitely, yes, definitely, 100%. Definitely? Mm -hmm. Get rid of this business? 100%. 100%. You're supposed to say, I don't see any business. You look great today. <laughs> Mr. Wine. Oh my God. I can't even do a cartwheel. Do you know that? An aoud, as we say in, in uh, Portuguese. In capoeira, it's called an aoud. An aoud. That's it. I cannot do an aoud. Last one. You guys, I'm sorry, but the uniform over here is no shirts on. I thought you were gonna give me a drink first, sorry. Oh. Traditional garb in Capoeira is shirtless, which in this case was a wonderful thing. And then they started fighting. I was like, boys, there's no need to fight over me, enough. of a dance but yet you're you're learning to defend yourself and it's a martial art I loved it he's got one kick up one leg go this way one leg that way I was like Whoa, huh. I almost had to come in here and put you in both the time out you're up next and I promise we're just gonna show you the basics little Jenga a little balance, skiva, and then you get to play a little bit. Skiva, okay. Means to escape. Promise I thought it was an little. STD. I wasn't sure what it was. Get back. Get back. Get back. And then Brett tried to teach me some moves. And we did a lot of this. Oh. I hurt myself. Go all the way back with that. So instead of crossing your feet, right? We're gonna yeah. Go straight back. Oh. It's a movement language. You are looking at each other. It's a communication. It's a yeah. calm response. It's right. And again, the connection. Now we're in sync. Hear us moving? Yeah. Balanza! 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 Oh! Are you wearing a cup? <laughs> I'll back up a little. Alright, thank you. Two. One. Jamie. Hold in the middle. Balanza. Balanza. Yeah. Now comes the, the more relaxing part. We're going to go to a Japanese tea house. Oh, love that. We're going to get, we're gonna, we're gonna get a little <laughs> Saki bombs! No. Saki bombs! Then we went to a very special place to Brett, and that's the Japanese tea house. I've actually never been to one, and I loved it. It was like they had built a tiny little playhouse in the middle of a restaurant. And it was just a time to relax. To me, in life, you have one currency, and it's energy. It's where you spend it. So this is a great place to go and just sort of recharge your batteries. Confidence, to me, is the most sexy thing that you can have. You know, the six pack gets you in the door, but what's underneath really does win the heart. You've been with a fat girl, is that what you're telling me? <laughs> I've been with all shapes and sizes. All right, that's good to know. What's sexy about Brett is that here's this guy who struggled as a kid with his weight. He felt what it was like to be criticized, to be the odd man out, to be on the fringe. And then he changed his path. <sighs> There's nothing like tea in a bowl. <laughs> he changed his life. He made the decision. I am not going to be the overweight kid in class. I had the most wonderful time with you. I find you so inspiring. Thank you very much. I really do. I am going to be different. And every day I wake up, I'm going to make that same decision to have a better body, to be healthy. And I think that's sexy about him, that he changed the course of his life. Tell me in the comments below who you think is sexy. And don't forget to subscribe for a new episode sent right to you every week. Sometimes going home is the hardest part of the journey. See if Megan can keep up her pace when she returns to Michigan.
Baby London gives Napoleon the kick he needs to get back in shape. Watch as he gets his weight down and muscle up. You'll think twice next time you say kicking in the NFL is easy after Kerry shows you what makes the Giants Steve Weatherford so sexy. Boo! Still there? Okay, maybe that didn't kill you, but can a scare stop your heart? Find out now. Subscribe for more health tips. Your body will thank you.